and Green is so quick that he's able to, to move back without allowing Cunningham to counter. Right, I think what Pete wants to do is tit for tat. If you kick my leg, I'm kicking you back, but Ronnie Green's not letting them execute. Absolutely. So we're into the ninth round for this vacant WKA World Light Welterweight Championship. Three times super lightweight Kingpin, Peter Sugarfoot Cunningham in for a very difficult fight here. Ronnie Green has been strong through the middle rounds. Right, it's been no cakewalk, that's for sure. That was an illegal kick, but uh, time call by the referee, Dr. Nelson Hamilton. Pete Cunningham's not the kind of guy to do that thing on purpose. Uh, that definitely was a, an accident. It gives uh, Green a little time here to recover. Anyone right. who's had that feeling knows it is like not as much pleasant. time as you need, but when you're and ready, Green is making know. some funny facial expressions to the crowd. He is an animated individual. You ready? Both sure. these guys have been pretty charismatic as, as far as their entry and uh, their ring presence. Time in. And that's very positive for the sport. Unintentional. All right, we're back. Clock will start again. Cunningham with the leg kick. This is more like it, you know, this is another uh, way Pete can uh, counter that kick to his leg, is use the leg as a weapon. You can't kick it when it's in the air at you, coming at you. Cunningham scored in that body kick. Inside of 40 seconds in the ninth round. I'm very surprised Pete has not been using the uh, left leg sidekick because I've seen him do it in the gym and he's very effective with it, but uh, he hasn't used it uh, thus far tonight. And the chess match continues. But these men are true technicians. They do not want to make a mistake. So there's lots of movement, Don, but no, uh, right. no kicking or punching. Three rounds to go. go. I have Ronnie Green ahead of my scorecard. What about you? I have this fight dead even. I have not uh, designated a winner so far on my unofficial scorecards. And again, both fighters start the round on their toes. And these guys are in tremendous shape. It's not just boxing, it's boxing and kicking, which is uh, using the total body. Now the reason that so many people were looking forward to this fight was because of a similar style. Coming out of a good combination. Green got off the road, but still suffered some punishment. Running him on the attack, leg kick. Yeah, he's, a, he's coming, up, coming alive, he wants it. He knows it's close. And again, Green is shaken up. Timeout taken by Dr. Nelson Hamilton, the referee, as Green got whacked once again you south of the border. You see? I'm not sure if the referee even saw that, but I, I did, did see, see it. It was a low blow. Is he in a position to deduct a point if it happens again? Time in. If he feels that it's done intentionally, yes. But, you know, when a fighter lifts his leg and a fighter's been missed of kicking, I mean... Right, it's it, a lot different than boxing. Yes, it's a lot different than boxing. It, it can, can happen uh, sometimes as a result of your defensive move. Cunningham throwing the jab. Pete needs to get aggressive like he was doing before at the beginning of this round. This uh, waiting and wanting to counter. I think Ronnie Green's a little too slick to be caught with a clean counter. I think Pete needs to get aggressive. Leg kick. Not much damage by Ronnie Green that time. But it's there. It's like a little pest. 
Yeah, it's keeping Pete busy. It's uh, keeping him a little off balance. See, he's reacting to it now. Now it's Mickey Cunningham backpedal. I know he preferred to fight to fight forward. See, Pete jumped in with his right hand. Now that's a dangerous thing for anybody to do, boxer or kickboxer, because when you jump in with the right, you might get caught coming in. And Green again eluding those kicks nicely as the tenth round comes to a close. Now what you're going to see is it's definitely not a uh, on-purpose blow. He was going for the leg and it came up instead of sideways right there. That was it. And Ronnie, uh, he didn't like that. Cunningham, you could see, was sorry about the blow. Right, but I don't think that made Ronnie feel any better. No, it definitely didn't. This is round 11. For the vacant WKA World Light Welterweight Championship. A fight between two guys known as technicians who have waited a long time to get in the ring with each other. Cunningham missing, but still going after Green. This is what he needs to do if he wants this title. Come alive. That's it. Landed the short left truck off the break. You know, I was considered a technician, Bruce, but uh, let me tell you, sometimes you got to come alive and give the audience and the judges what they want. Give them a fight. Cunningham needs to get there, get in there, and go to work. In these two-minute rounds, there's not a lot of time left. You know, I could turn that around and say Green needs to do the same thing if he wants to take this title back to England. And that's what his corner said between rounds. He said, if you want to turn this fight around, you've got to work. So they either think he's behind or they're trying to convince him he's behind. Well, I think it's it's so close, it, it could be anybody's fight right now. Agree. Cunningham landing a right. Now I see something, uh, Pete's got that left hand actually over his thigh. That's a pretty jab by Cunningham. We haven't seen a lot of it. But he's thrown far more punches with his fist than Green. Right hand by Cunningham. You know, he's able to score more easily with his fists than he is his legs. Coming up on 10 seconds of the 11th round. Peter Cunningham missing with the right. You know, the trouble with Green's strategy is you cannot win a fight just by kicking the lead leg. You've got to come over the top of it with something. You've got to... I mean, it looks to me a little bit on Pete's favor, but, you know, this is Las Vegas. You don't know what the judges are going to... Oh, a beautiful kick to the head by Cunningham. Both fighters are technicians, but uh, right about now they need to uh, start pitching for the fence. There you go. Ronnie Green landed a right hand. And as you mentioned earlier, he hasn't landed a lot of punches. Now, because of that, you know, we have boxing judges here. These are the Las Vegas uh, Athletic Commission judges. Uh, you know, the hands are going to weigh heavily in this fight. Leg kick by Green. This is what he should have been doing earlier. I see right Pete lowering his left hand, possibly to protect his, his thigh. Big 30 seconds here in the last round. And Cunningham doubling up on the jab. Green missing. 10 seconds to go in the back. A knockdown in the second round by Green. A knockdown by Cunningham in the fifth. The fight goes the distance. In here, they, they stuck to their game plans, and uh, you know, I would have liked to see a little more aggression there at the end of the fight, the last couple of rounds. I, I have uh, Pete ahead, but only marginally. I have him ahead by two rounds, and uh, this, of course, is unofficial. I have it even, but uh, 
You've got 10 world titles, I don't. <laughs> well, see what that, that amounts to.